little taste of it <laughs> too. I feel like that crisp weather, the crisp temperature outside with the coolness of it the last couple days just said, oh, it's coming. It was a fake out. Trick <laughs> it was fake. Have you seen the moms out? Yes. Anywhere yet? Yes. <laughs> That's like Soon the sure sign. Pumpkins. All <laughs> is coming. I know. I know. It's going to be here before we know it. And before we get there, summer's like, hold on just a minute. Mm -hmm. It's still my season. And it's uh, letting us know that it is still summertime. In fact, you step outside this morning, Whew. you already can feel all that moisture in the air. It's like you're walking into a wall of thick air. Want to take you back over the past 48 hours because we've had several inches of rainfall through the state. Now, these are not the exact measurements. This is radar estimated rainfall taking us back again 48 hours. Indianapolis uh, did get over an inch of rainfall yesterday. So down on the south side, around eight tenths of an inch. Most of the state, especially where you see those greens close to Kokomo to Peru, a few inches of rain fell yesterday, inch and a half closer to Lafayette, inch and a half close to Terre Haute, and over that near Greensburg, nearly three inches officially. So it was certainly a saturated day, not to mention the fact that we had those strong storms as well. Radar clear this morning as we're starting off early on this Sunday with dry conditions, but with mostly cloudy skies and all of that moisture in the air is certainly going to make it feel a lot different. We're warm and muggy at 75 degrees as we get our day started. We head into the afternoon. The Indians are back at home playing against Louisville. First pitch this afternoon at 135. We're already going to be up to 89 degrees by the 2 o'clock hour as that game is ongoing. We approach that 90 degree mark, but look what your heat index is going to do. We'll climb from 99 at 2, 101 at 3, feeling like 102 at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Temperatures you don't want to mess with. Make sure we're staying hydrated and take those frequent breaks. If you feel like you're getting too hot, it's been several days since we've had temperatures like this in central Indiana. We have to go all the way back to around August 6th. So we're not necessarily accustomed to these high temperatures right now. Again, that's just uh, something else to just keep in mind for today. 91 in Bloomington this afternoon. Greencastle, Indianapolis, Rushville, you're up to 90 and 89. Your forecast high up in Muncie. Now, there is a chance we could see an isolated pop-up. We'll get into the heat of the day. We'll pause here at around 5 p.m. from Greencastle to Columbus down to Seymour. An isolated shower will be possible. That threat continues through about 7 o'clock. And then after that happens, we start to clear the sky back out. Not expecting severe weather with that potentially some heavy downpours as well as maybe some brief lightning. That's going to be it for this afternoon. The sky clears to the overnight. We're in store for another sunny and hot Monday. We have the heat and humidity that continues to build in quickly for us. 1 o'clock tomorrow, we're back up to 87, another 90-degree day, 4-hour Monday. And then again on Tuesday, we're in the lower 90s across central Indiana for Tuesday afternoon. And again, that heat index still going to be close to that 100-degree mark. Not to mention the fact that it will be oppressive. We have dew point temperatures. That's really the best way to measure how much moisture is in the atmosphere. Anything over that 70 degree mark puts us in that oppressive category. We're at 75 today. All the way through Wednesday, we're in the lower 70s. And Wednesday will be that transitional day with the front coming through. So come Thursday, believe that's going to be the pick of the week as that drier air works its way in. We'll say goodbye to the stretch of the 90s. We're down to 83 Wednesday with the scattered showers and storms. 80 and sunny on Thursday. Alyssa, we are seasonal back in the mid-80s for the end of next week.